Until today, few people knew the real facts. In Ankara, the Irish president personally spoke about the gratitude shown by the Turks to her country. Uh, this generation still remembers the time back in the 19th century when one million Irish people died of starvation. And among the greatest friends at that time were the Turkish people. It was at the time of the Great Potato Famine in Ireland, while under pressure from England, two million citizens faced death. The country was experiencing a major migration, while those survivors left behind were aided by the Ottoman Sultan Abdul Mejid. Your Sultan sent us three shiploads of food, and they were the food was unloaded in the port of Drogheda, just north of our capital city. The Sultan decided to send five ships loaded with food and materials to the Irish people suffering from famine, together with 10,000 sterling. This was a sum far greater than the £2,000 given as aid to the Irish people by the English Queen. England did their best to restrict this amount of aid and reduce the figure to £1,000. However, the British refused entry into the Dublin port. Ottoman sailors then secretly unloaded the ships full of provisions in the port of Drogheda, which now displays symbols of gratitude. And in gratitude, the people of that city, of that town, incorporated into their town's coat of arms your own beautiful emblems of the crescent moon and the beautiful star, and they are there to this present day. The Ottoman coat of arms is not only the emblem of the city, but is also the symbol of the city's football team. For over 100 years, the team that heralds the Ottoman emblem has been fighting to maintain its position in the first league. Representing the country on behalf of the Irish, the President Mary McAleese expressed gratitude towards the Turks and was deeply touched while also giving thanks to Mustafa Kemal. We also remember with gratitude the care you have taken of our Irish dead, the spirit of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. You have generously cared for them and so I look forward to going to Chinakale tomorrow to honour their memory. Today's visit to the cemetery in Chanakale, where the soldiers and martyrs of Ireland lay to rest, began with the laying of wreaths in front of the statue of the great leader Ataturk. Famine. A forgotten, almost unknown historical bond between Turkey and Ireland. An Ireland country, a Catholic and prideful community which lives in the northwest of continental Europe. The year 1845, the Gorta Moor, which means the Great Famine in Irish, took place. One million people lost their lives through starvation, and two million become refugees. In that era, continental Europe was living in prosperity and wealth due to the Industrial Revolution. Unlike the Ottoman Empire, which was suffering a so-called sick man period, had economical issues and was under attack from several fronts. But despite this situation, when Sultan Abdul Mejid heard the news of the disaster, he decided to send 10,000 pounds to Ireland about 20 million US dollars in today's currency. In response, the Queen of England informed the Sultan that he couldn't send more than what she had, which was only 2,000 pounds, giving approval of 1,000 pounds only. Sultan Abdul Mejid accepts. However, he thought that to prevent this aid was inhumane and despite the political, geographical and technical difficulties of that era, secretly sent five ships full of supplies together with 1,000 pounds. This act of compassion by the Ottomans saved thousands of Irish people's lives and left a lasting impression. And the emblem of the city of Drogheda and the symbol of their football team became the Ottoman coat of arms. 
the plaque of appreciation which was given to the Ottoman Empire is still found on the monument located on the busiest street of the city. On that plaque, the message tells about the importance of solidarity between Irish and Turkish people and states a friend in need. The people of Ireland gave the best response to the Treaty of Lausanne. Yahya Kemal was present at the relevant negotiations with Turkey at Lausanne in 1923. While all European delegates and representatives vote against Turkey, only the Irish representative raised a hand in favour of Turkey. This case attracted the attention of poet Yahya Kemal and finding the opportunity, he asked, Why is it that, while everybody is voting against us, you should vote in our favour? The Irish gentleman looked at Yahya Kemal's face and answered, in our difficult time, you humanely extended a friendly hand. You are a nation always worthy of support, and we will never forget. During this time, nearly one million Irish people had immigrated to the United States, mostly in New York, New England, Massachusetts, and Boston. Today, there are 60 million Irish living in the United States, with this number, the United States is the country that has the greatest Irish population. Also, whose roots come from Ireland, Kennedy, Nixon, Reagan, Bush, Clinton and Obama are some of the 22 presidents with Irish descendants. We believe that this very proud story is of great importance and should be brought to world attention. The movie will be fictionalized about three main events. A the Great Famine, which is the most tragic event of Irish history. B. The goodwill and the charitableness of the Ottoman Empire towards the Irish people. C. Turkish sailor Fatih and Irish woman Mary Kennedy's great love and romance during the famine. The cinema industry of Hollywood during the past 50 years has been able to influence people emotionally. Famine is a co-production of Turkey, Ireland, Spain, America and England, which targets the Oscars and will come to the theatres worldwide. The success of this movie will create a new Turkish trend in Hollywood and enrich our image. A large part of the earnings will be transferred to international charitable foundations such as UNICEF, the Red Cross, the United Nations and similar world charitable organizations. Our goal is to reflect this unique and proud event, which had remained unknown between the dusty pages of history to the silver screen of Hollywood and to introduce to the world the noble Turkish people who are the grandchildren of the Ottoman Empire with an Oscar-worthy movie and bring it to the silver screen of Hollywood and to the world.